Now, as we did in case of multiplier, the initial circuit, we'll ask ourselves that do we need this much hardware? 64 bit error subtractor is definitely a problem. It's a, it's a big, huge circuit. Do we want to deploy it? And we are seeing there are a lot of 64 bit registers as well, which are also like expensive, uh, expensive uh, component. So can we do better? Can we use a 32-bit error subtractor, more 32-bit register? We'll use 64-bit register only if it's absolutely needed or not. Yes, we can do that. Our circuit would become something like this. Okay. We use like one 32-bit divisor. We do 32-bit error subtractor. And we'll use the remainder register as 64 bit, but uh, it will uh, basically uh, will serve as a quotient and the remainder both the 64 bit lower half will become quotient and upper half will become remainder where dividend goes out of the scope. Okay, dividend goes out of the scope. So to understand this one, we need to understand what we are trying to do. So let's take a look at that, what we are trying to do as Digital Perspective 2. If you recall, in the multiplier, we have said that shift is a relative operation. Shifting left means you are shifting the bits with respect to a fixed point, right? So that means you are shifting a bit to the left, the same as keep that bit pattern same and make your reference shift to the right. So they are relative, right? So this is as if you are shifting to the left so with respect to that reference. So we want to do exactly the same thing, okay? So what we do here for the 8-bit example, same 8-bit example, we load a divisor in a fixed register. We keep it there, okay? And we deploy two register, remainder and quotient, where quotient register is loaded with the dividend bit pattern, all right? And then what we'll do, we first do a left shift of both the remainder and quotient, okay? Left shift of both remainder and quotient. And then we do a subtraction between the remainder register, which is 8-bit, to the divisor register, okay? And then if this negative remainder roll back, we add this back and finalize the LSB, okay? So as zero. So then we left shift the quotient. So now you note what we are trying to do in our previous digital perspective, we are shifting the divisor to the right side to bring it gradually under the dividend bits. Now in this process, we do, what we are doing to trying to do, we are shifting, keeping the divisor at the same position and shifting the dividend one by one towards the left to bring it over the divisor to adjust its position so that it has a little more value than it is it is it has a more value than the divisor so that your subtraction result become a positive so here what we are trying to do here. now look at Neg now at this point still iteration 2 is still negative result we need to roll back and finalize the lsb and then iteration 2 3 Subtraction, negative remainder, and we roll back and finalize LSB. Then do another iteration four, subtraction, negative, roll back, finalize LSB. One more shift on the on the quotient register towards the remainder. So basically, we are bringing the dividend gradually into the remainder register. And roll back this step, and one more shift. Now you see, we are at a point when we do a subtraction, it becomes a positive, right? 
So now what we need to do, this look at the LSP, it is grayed out zero. So grayed out means it is something, is a potential of a quotient bit, but we don't know, we know, haven't finalized it. So if my po remainder is positive, what we need to do, we need to flush out this zero, potential zero at the LSP, and insert a one here as a quotient and finalize that. So in the process, what we need to do, we need to first do a right shift and insert back a one, okay? And there is no, nothing for your rollback because there's a positive and we do a one more shift of the uh, dividend into the remainder register. So what we are essentially doing, you see your dividend bit pattern is going out of the scope gradually and being pushed into the remainder register where these empty bits are being used gradually by the quotient. Okay, we are finally finalizing the quotient bits one by one, replacing the dividend bit. So we are trying to optimize the usage of the hardware register at this point, and that's what what made it possible to have least amount of hardware component in our circuit. So we do subtraction, positive remainder. So what we need to do? Shift out this zero to the left shift and insert a one back to with a right shift. And one more, subtraction, positive, shift out the zero, shift in, and we are done. So now note, we need to do till iteration eight in this, in this example, in this, in this, in this process, in this algorithm. We no longer need a iteration nine to finalize everything. So that's, one step less for us in the in this in this uh, digital perspective too. Now let's go back to the circuit and let's try to understand them. So divisor is a 32 bit fixed. Okay, it just need a load because initially you need to load that divisor. And remainder register is still 64 bit lower half the dividend. But this register now need to have both shift right shift left capability to roll back and finalize the quotient bit depending on the sign of the remainder register, this half or half of the remainder register. And this load on zero circuit is the same, we are inserting zero to one depending on what the result is and we need to load load this, uh, this result from that subtractor to the upper half of the remainder register, that's what the right is doing. So it is, it is not loading everything, it is not influencing dividend lower half at all it's only influence the upper half on this right. 